Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Today is September 21st. I came to my car. I didn't bring any lunch today because I won this like picnic thing for like our top performers at work. If you guys couldn't tell a minute ago, my hair is looking crazy. Dude, are you okay? Totally. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in braids because you guys know that's what I like to do. But yeah, I just want to check in with you guys. My weigh in this morning was 154 even, which is pretty accurate considering that I had ramen. Supposedly, they say that that lasts in your system for like seven days or whatever. I wouldn't be able to tell you, but. I did go to the bathroom today and it was the first time that I've gone to the bathroom since I was sick. So that could be true. I didn't really vlog yesterday. Guys, honestly, like I'm always doing the same thing. Like it's either work or cleaning the house or the gym, honestly. And that's not a lot of fun to watch sometimes. So sometimes I don't even know what to film. I'm gonna start scheduling video filming sessions. So I'm actually gonna start filming actual videos, not just check-ins in the car. <laughs> Got it! <he>. Got it! <he. laughs> so stay tuned for that. I'm so over my hair color already. It's like green but blonde. Feeling a lot better today. I still feel a little bit congested from my chest, which shouldn't be a big deal during the weightlifting session. It's more so during the cardio session. It's not nice because my lines for my pinky toes are going to be so messed up, but honestly, my hair, I hate having my hair my face is so annoying. I don't even know if I brought enough hair ties. Also, can I just say that people at work are being kind of sketchy with me because I got the schedule that I wanted and you know I said it's like based off of ranking so some people are really upset about what schedule they got you know if you know how it's gonna work you're gonna try your hardest so another thing I wanted to tell you guys my mom she is going to be taking over my finances which basically means that she's gonna be like my accountant for the rest of my life hopefully She's always been really good with money and honestly so have I like since we moved into our new house I've become so much more responsible with my money but like I told you guys in the past when I was a teenager when I had just turned 18, 19 I don't remember but I would use credit cards for everything and so now I'm paying for that and so kind of came clean to her and I told her you know, that I was struggling and that I needed help, blah, 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 to get myself out of that debt hole and to just not feel like I'm drowning because honestly, sometimes like I felt like I was never going to get out of that debt and I didn't know how and I'm super organized, like I pay everything on time and stuff, but basically, well, the way that it is for me is like I'm paying paycheck to paycheck, like I don't have any money left over whatsoever from any paycheck. I'm also thinking that I want to start a family, but bringing a baby into a bunch of debt, that's not something that I want to do. That's another reason why we haven't had any babies. But let me tell you, my baby fever has been crazy lately. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update. This is some of the popcorn we got at work today. So I'm going to be eating that. I'll have to head back in a minute, so talk to you guys later. Bye hey guys, what's up? I just got home from work. I was supposed to go to the gym after work, but it's too lazy and I didn't feel like it. So yeah, I might go later, we'll see. I don't like to do anything unless I'm 100% about it. My skin's been acting up again. Anyway, so we got this package today. Fragile, when we were in California, Joanna got a snow globe from Harry Potter at Universal. Sorry, I'm putting my tripod on. So she got a 
snow globe from Universal and it broke. It was broken when she opened the bag. So we ordered her a new one. I told her that same day that I would call but they had already closed so I called the next morning to see if they, were, if they could do anything to help us out. And the person who helped me was super amazing. So shout out to Universal Studios for making this happen. I'm just opening it on air so that if anything, I mean on air. Sorry, I'm listening to too much of the Bob Bones. Opening it. Oh, it's already wet. Look. I just looked at the box. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the box is wet. Which I'm assuming the snow globe is already wet, is broken. I don't know how what we do from here. <sighs> Man, I was so excited until I saw that. I'm glad I caught it on footage though. That way they don't think it was me and that way we can try to get another one. Yeah, no, it's broken. I don't even want to try to open it. Look, so this is the bag that it came in and it's all wrapped haven't unwrapped it yet it's in there everything is wet you can i don't know if you can see the water on the wrapping paper this is not universal's fault this one's would be ups so i don't know what we're gonna do from here i don't even want to open it anymore because i don't know what we're gonna do but now i gotta text babe and tell him Hey guys, by this time you have already seen the intro to this series. Hi guys, good morning. Today is December 28th, I believe. I'm in the middle of editing a video, but I did mention in that video that you guys would have already seen the intro to the series that I was planning on doing then. However, I didn't continue with the series because I think at that time I'm watching The Voice. I'm trying to watch the girl that won from Farmington because it's close to home. Anyway, so my intention was to start a series where I was doing something uh, every day that scared me, but I think I ran out of things and also, yeah, I think that was the reason why. I don't remember. I do want to try it again one, one day though because I do believe in that. I do believe in doing at least one thing a day that gets you out of your comfort zone. So... We'll see. Maybe I'll try it again. I just wanted to cut in here real quick and let you guys know why you didn't see that intro. But if you're watching this right now, thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. I'm working on it. I'm hoping that this upcoming year I upload a lot more. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And now back to the video. So this is going to be called the, well I don't actually, I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but today is the first day of the series, so I'm doing one thing a day that scares me, and today the first thing I did was I chose a different parking spot, and I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking that's not scary, but I'm somebody who likes to keep things the same as much as possible so since i started working at this particular company i've always parked in the same place away the farthest away from people as possible so yeah so that's my first thing for today i just got to work i'm gonna fix my hair up a little bit and then i'm heading inside but yeah wish me luck on the rest of my day hey guys I am back. It is my lunch time now. I was kind of getting like antsy and wanted to move my car to its original spot because I was like, oh no, then it means I have to have lunch at this new parking space that I got. But I'm feeling okay. I didn't change parking spaces. And then it also made me have to go to a different break room because this one's closer to where I parked today. So I guess it's too things two new things that I did that scared me which I'm pretty proud of who knows maybe I'll do other things today because I'm feeling a little brave and I know it might not seem like a big deal to people because you're like a parking space like a new parking space that's not a big deal or like a new break room I don't know I get super nervous especially in the break room because 
people are waiting around for the microwaves and stuff, so pretty proud of myself. But yeah, I am on lunch right now and eating the usual, the organic rice jasmine cups and then just chicken and beef with zucchini, jalapenos, onions, etc. But since we are having a get together at Carlos's, Carlos and Paulus's house today, I am only eating half of the cup, so there's that. And then today if I finish my gallon of water, we will be, I will be beating last week's goal, or last week's streak or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later because I'm super hungry, so bye. Oh, I guess I can show you my food before I go. This time it looks more spicy because I only had to cook for me, so I put more chili in there because babe, he doesn't really like the spicy. So yeah, bye.